Alright, so this was 5 a.m. Uh-oh. And I think I made myself some new enemies. How did I really end up here? Fuck. I've tried different types of playstyles as a solo in Rust. This wipe was probably one of my richest, but yet the funniest come up as a solo I've ever had. No allies, no friendships, just me versus everyone. This is the story of how I went from zero to hero on a full pop vanilla server. Alright boys, we are back again with another solo journey. It's also the first time I ever start out in the night time. I haven't really done that before. But uh, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing super fine. Just being enjoying the weather and just having a good time. Today, I am playing on a bi-weekly server. And I thought I have a pretty fun challenge today. I do have like a f few BPs here. Uh, kind of want to test out the new weapon mods, you know? So a few weeks ago, they boosted the weapon mods, like attachments such as muscle boost, muscle break, and all of that. They kind of give them a slight boost, which is pretty cool because now you, they're actually viable. Before, they used to be really bad. So I kind of want to try insane combos on weapons, you know? Maybe it's broken. Like, I, I don't know. I haven't really tried it out yet, so... I definitely want to do that. Playing on Rustified Medium, which tends to be like a clan server, as you can see in the snow. There's no way for me to live in snow. So, yeah. I always go snow, and you guys know that. But uh, today, we're not going snow. Yo, I don't know about you guys, but I'm drinking cola with sugar. Do you like zero, or do you like cola with sugar? Because I feel like I get such a good rush when I drink normal Coke, instead of just zero sugar. Let me see what you guys do. Like, that's kind of interesting. I want to I, I wanna know what you guys are drinking. I'm a weird guy. So as I made myself to the middle of the map, I found something that would be really useful for this wipe. Something that would save me a lot of time. This is a trap base. What the f***, dude? Nah, 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 this can't be. Wait. Oh my god! Yo. There's a tier 3 in here. The base was pretty much empty, but the most important thing I could ever scavenge from this was a tier 3. Since I already did have a lot of blueprints unlocked, this would kickstart my wipe completely. So I headed out into the forest, farmed a bit of wood, and built myself a shack so I could safely store it until I had a main base. So I went back to the base where I got the tier 3 from, and gathered a few usable items, such as boxes and stuff. And it really didn't take long until I focused on getting down my main base. This wasn't really where I wanted to live at the first place. But what was about to happen in this wipe made me realize I built on a perfect location. Alright, we can do it like that. Alright, at least we have a base, bro. That's good. I just need a TC now. I think that's good. And then we wait, can I place a window? Yeah, I can. Alright, that's perfect. Um, that's about it. Bro, I just started out and I got a tier 3. Got a bit of furnaces and stuff. I can only go up from here. Like, there's no excuses now to quit the wipe or anything. Like, not that I want to quit or anything, but, uh, you mean? Like, if I die, I just suck, you know? I got, like, the best start handed to me. Since I start my wipes early in the morning, this server was pretty calm. And I used this time to refill furnaces and doing necessary stuff. Even though I got a tier 3 handed to me for free, they are pretty useless until you have the right resources to craft stuff. So all of this time was just a waiting game. I also used the stone that I farmed to upgrade my base.
Alright, some parts is stone at least. That's good. We can just put a metal door here. Then the base isn't that hard to raid. I mean, that easy to raid. Yeah, that's perfect. Bro has a tier 3 and a 1 wooden door to raid. That's crazy. I tried to find a quick start to get some resources, so I crafted two Molotovs to raid a base nearby. Yeah, I think we need two. I think they patched it. Maybe I threw it too high. Yeah, I knew it. God damn it, bro. I knew it. Right, that's fine though. Since it was still nighttime, I decided to do a really small recycle run just to get some more metal so I could secure my base with more doors. As I was just running around and exploring the area, I noticed a shack decayed outside my base. And this was a shack that I wanted to raid originally, but since it now decayed, I was pretty lucky. Yo, what the f- Oh my god! What? A shack just decay there. Yo, I can make guns now. Just need to farm sulfur. After coming back to the base, I crafted myself my first gun, and then I went back to recycle once again. But this time, I had a lot of cloth that I needed. And this is where I would run into a very strange group, which I didn't think about much at the time. But these guys were gonna have it handed to them. So this run was probably one of my most important runs this early, since I had almost 1k cloth and a bit of high quality metal that I needed. Once I came back to my base, this is where I ran into some trouble. Right, almost 1k cloth. That's pretty perfect. If you ask me. Maybe I missed to loot something, I don't know. I was pretty stressed. Whatever, don't really need scrap. I mean it's good, but I have a few BPs. Bro. So 69 meters with the M92 is pretty wicked, considering he didn't have a clue where I went. Keep an eye out for this name, Big Ash. After this, I went out once again with a new weapon to farm some resources. And this is also where I would run into the same guys again. But this time, I had a really strange stomach feeling about these guys. Can I loot this really good kill by outpost? Oh. oh god. Five minute timer. I just killed a guy with a big backpack and I, I kinda can't loot it, bro. There was a lot of shit in that backpack. Three minutes? That's, this is so slow. Oh, he killed me. Like, I... Th like, th th the fact with... Yeah, Bikash, it's the hacker again. Even though I died to a suspected guy, he still left the backpack that I was waiting for anyway. And a whole unlooted body. So, I didn't really lose much about this. But I knew this guy was hacking deep down. I just had a feeling about it. Right, he didn't loot the backpack at least. That's good. Yeah, we got the backpack with all the good stuff. Like, actually, this is big for us. Yeah, his body should be up here somewhere. Oh, 
bro. Alright, we didn't get anything. Holy dude. They had everything. They must have raided a base or something. Yo, we got everything, dude. I don't care about losing this horse anymore. Just get me back to base and I'm glad about it. Yo. Oh my god, look at that inventory. And the stuff in the backpack too. That is actually nuts, dude. Alright, boys. I have some good news. Look at this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I told you guys he was hacking, all right? You know, I say that a lot. Yeah, this guy's hacking, bro. He's bad, you know? But this guy was such a unique case. I wish I recorded it. But I was fully crouching like in a bush where no one was supposed to be. And he just doubled me from so far away. So I was like, bro, come on, dude. And then with the backpack issue, why would he push me there? Like... Yeah, his friends got banned too. His friend got banned. Yeah, that's his friend. They were a duo. Alright, finally, dude. Kinda wanna know where this hacker lives. They have probably so much loot, bro. Bro, it could be this base. Oh, that's a... That's a wood base on there. Since I had been playing on this server the whole morning, this base suddenly just stood out in the mountains. I remember when I ran here that there was no bases here before. So I thought the hacker might have lived in this base. And the reason behind it was the wooden door and the stone combination. Usually hackers don't know how the game works, except from stealing loot and hacking on servers. So I thought I'd give it a go. I went back to the base and crafted molotovs. Bro, what if he lives in there? Yep, he does. What a fucking loser, bro. What a loser, bro. He's banned in here. Actual kid, bro. That's my source, too. Loser. Five hundred scrap. Look, look all the loot he stole from people. This is crazy as well. Yeah, MP5s. This is just pathetic. All this is my loot. Oh my god, I missed this box. Like... Bro, this this game, dude. Yo, there's so much loot in there. Like, that guy stole loot from everyone. If I could, I would give it back to the people, but I can't, you know? Like, I don't know from who it took it. But that's mine. Now. Unless I fucking die outside my base. Which I probably will. That's just crazy, dude. That is crazy, man. This loot is just from a few hours of playtime. Even though it's sad players lost their loot, it was now in the right hands. I would use all this loot to kickstart my wipe even further. This was everything I needed to progress. I went back one more time to scoop up all the loot that I couldn't carry the last time. And oh boy, I can only imagine how many people that are hacking who just get banned with tons of loot that just disappear into the wilderness. It is such a sad state of the game at the moment. I think I got the best stuff. Oh, there's two guys outside, little kids. What is this wipe, bro? I don't think I've had this much loot without killing anyone. I 
I gotta go, 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 go. I don't want the AKs to come back. Bro, I'm so loaded right now. Like, look at my inventory. Also, the stuff in the base, too. We made it. Oh, God, bro. Like, ugh. I have so much loot, but my base is so bad, and everything is so bad, and there's just AKs everywhere. Alright, let's take the night vision and upgrade the base. As the night fell, I went out to upgrade my base with NVGs. This is also when I heard a train passing by. Apparently the train got stuck one grid away from my base. And of course, I had to investigate. Gotta respawn quick again. He had a backpack too. What am I doing? I'm so slow. No! Bro. Oh, he didn't loot the backpack. What a donkey. What a monkey, bro. Okay, he got like some rifle bullets and stuff. I got everything. Bro. Oh my god, dude. Like, this ain't happening. <gasps> Yo! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! At this point, I was being extremely lucky and rich by doing as little as possible from raiding the hacker to countering this guy on the train. All of this happened in a matter of minutes. But what is really interesting is this guy's name. 8-Bit. He got away with decent amount of loot, and I would make sure to find out where he lives. I wouldn't let him escape with this. Alright, I think I think it's time that we make more garage doors here. Since I now had a few guns, I decided to go out and roam for a bit. Getting silenced. Oh, it's from the. I think it's from the roof. Yep, it's stuffed from the roof. Bro, it's nothing. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, what was silencing me? I don't think that's an AK. No, it's a SAR. The server became more active, and I heard some gunshots outside the base. And this time, I really wanted to try out the new OP weapon mods. For this gun, I used a muscle boost. And I'ma tell you this, it's really shredding people. It is so OP.
Dude, he was used up. Bro, that guy is expanding too. Bro, the weapon mods are so good. It shoots so fast. Okay, he's coming, coming out again. Bro, he thinks I'm gonna go in there. He has a shotgun trap, I'm not stupid. He upgraded the high quality guy. I was gonna I was planning to raid him. Yeah, he was going on a farm, I guess. Three stars? Damn. Where's the deeper box? Alright, we'll put it down here, I guess. I'm just scooping up so much loot now. I don't know what's going on. He's back in there. Yo, this thing shreds, dude. This thing is so good. Custom. Alright, so they're a duo. Bro. <laughs> the weapon mods for Rust is so good at the moment. They're so underrated too. Do you see how fast I shot compared to him? That is absolutely nasty. While I was living here, I made myself some new enemies, named Winnie and Gizem Savage. These are the same guys I killed with the weapon mods for the first time. These guys were just door camping me now back and forth. There's a bow guy here. <clears throat> yeah, I heard him. I knew it, I knew it. Oh, and I'm back, timer. Him again. And yeah, that's karma, dude. Bro, this is what I got from these guys. Like, they gave me so much, dude. These guys were still hunting me down. They really wasn't happy that I stole a bunch of stuff from them. They wanted their shit back. What about these walls, bro? They should be low now. Not the king yet. Yo, there's two full kits on me. Bro. Winnie. Do I just go AK again? I had a master plan in my head. I knew they lived somewhere behind my base, so I figured I would just play the long game and wait for them. Bro, I had enough. He brought out the AK. I mean, that's good though. Yeah, I think they're getting roof camped. Patience is key. I'm gonna just wait here. Did he die? Yeah, he did. Kill bitch. My kids now, dude. Where's his CS friend, though? Patience is key. We win those. Bro is not happy about that. Another AK for Hapster. Since I did have a lot of HQM and metal, I figured it was time to upgrade my base a bit. 
I was pretty wanted by different people around my area at this point. I had stolen so much loot. I had a plan to raid my neighbor who stole my loot at the train tracks. I scouted the base and it looks pretty juicy. There was also cold locks on the base which meant he would probably have a lot of stuff in there since he has teammates helping him out. So I grabbed my jackhammer and farmed a bit. I also set up some really bad electricity to run my electrical furnaces. As I was standing in my base looking out the window, I saw that my neighbors run past my base. Winnie and Grim Savage. They were Hassi AKs, so I figured I would hunt them down to scoop up some AKs. Was it really just Hassi AK? Yeah, they are. This is it, bro. They had backpacks too, are they gonna farm or something? They might be going tunnels. Not going on that mountain though. I think they're camping up there. One is dead. The other one, I see the other one. Oh my god. They're having a hard time, dude. Like, they're having such a hard time, bro. We're both AK? Yeah, both were AK. Since these guys know where I lived, they were camping my door once again. So, I headed back to my old stash and stashed all the AKs that I got from them. Alright, let's see if I'm getting door camped. Sorry bro, I died. Yeah, they're camping my base. <laughs> I'ma just run straight to my base. Because I just checked battle metrics. I might die here. So I made it back safely to the base. And sadly, I made these guys quit the wipe. I checked their names on battle metrics, and they were never to be seen again. If you don't know where battle metrics is, that's a place where you can check if players are online. And they were offline. So sad. Dude, I want to see how my, how my furnaces are doing. I didn't check them for a while. Let's refill downstairs, I guess. Please tell me they're loaded. Please. Oh! Yo! I love me some furnaces, dude. That's incredible. Boom, boom, wait, boom. All right, like that. Those are restocked. What about these ones? Yo. We are getting a lot of loot, bro. Ooh, actually need to kill that animal. Come here. Where's the combat knife? Where's the combat knife? I don't have a combat knife. Damn, bro. No. Right, we go with the hatchet. Where did it go? Bro. There's a naked here? I mean, there's a SAR guy here? I hear it. Do I just skin it? It's definitely coming back, though. Yo. Alright, we got a free kill. We got animal fat. Let's go. <laughs> bro is camping me again. What is this wipe, bro? So, I'm assuming these guys have three sheet metal doors. Which leaves me to need 192 extra ammo. So, I was preparing to raid my neighbor. I did have some extra ammo research, and I thought they would only have three sheet doors. 
and if that was the case, it would be really cheap. But I wasn't really sure, so I headed out in the plans to farm even more. This is where I ran into some trouble, but this time I was also using the muscle boost on the MP5, and that's an insane combo if you haven't tried it out yet. There's a farmer, I might just go for him. He could have what I'm looking for. Now there's two. Oh, they get triple there. This thing shreds. No way. Yo, they're coming back. I see them. Oh my god. Crazy farmer? Yeah, not anymore, bitch. This is my swamp. No, not a full backpack though. I thought it was a full backpack. No, they had no farm at all. Yo, the MP5 is busted, bro. Did you see how fast I shredded him? Oh. I'm dead, I'm dead. No. Of course they came back. Yeah, they came back. Yeah, I think that's a clan though. Well, sadly I died, but I was still happy with the outcome and how I performed as a player. I was just being outnumbered, but the MP5 was fulfilling its purpose. It's lethal when you're close range and medium. I crafted a bit of expo ammo and decided to go for my neighbor. If I die with this, I don't have any boom left or any sulfur. This has to be sheet doors behind this. And I of course hope I don't get countered. Sadly, I was met with a garage door, but that wouldn't stop me from raiding the space. I was already far in and wasted a lot of stuff on the first door, so I thought, why not continue to raid it? No! Bro, I was looking in my inventory. Where is he though? Fuck off, little bro. That was a nice play though, but I was looking in my inventory. I died with the boom but managed to get it back. Even though I was still out of sulfur, the door was at half HP at least. So all I could do was pray for the guy that he didn't log on to reseal it. And of course, I went back to farm even more sulfur. Once the sulfur was cooking and done, I headed back once again to keep raiding. Oh my god. Yo, I'm leaving. Wait, I didn't even get this box, bro. Yeah, I guess decent. 
depot everything. Do I have a fresh box so we can see what I got from this? This is pretty fresh though. Bro. Yo, this is all I got. Look at that. Just one box. That's not even a teaser room. Oh god. But I'm getting countered by a fucking... Bro just rushed in like a monkey, not gonna lie. Yo, that's a lot of loot. Plus the full kits. <laughs> Yo, what a wipe, dude. Yo, someone's taking heli. Where will it land? I'm gonna crash in train here, I think. Bro, kill it already. Are you kidding me? Bro, I'm so horrible at taking heli, bro. Might just camp these fuckers. Yep, he's coming out here. He went up here. Is he even gonna go for it? Bro, is this guy a solo ally to them or what? Thank you, easy AK. <laughs> now they're roof camping me. Easy, haha, <laughs> no heli for you. I mean, I'll take that. I had a lot of AKs, but not researched yet. So I decided to do a pretty decently sized recycle run the next night time. I grabbed the night vision and headed out for mining outpost. This guy was new in the area. At this point, I wasn't really sure or where or who he belonged to. Later, I would find out that he rebuilt together with three other people close to me. This is also the same group that I raided. He belonged to this guy, 8-Bit, who stole the loot from me at the train track. I knew I had a bounty on my head, considering they were rebuilding fast. 
But this time, there were four of them. Just need 500. I need AK BP. Once we have AK, I can just start roaming them consistently. All right, finally, can repair my AKs, can craft new ones. We did have a few AKs. That's good. But uh, now we have it BP'd as well, which is good. Boom. Perfect, dude. I heard a raid in the distance, and as soon as I heard about it, I crafted a new AK and decided to go for it. This is also where I found a pretty interesting guy. one more what the fuck just happened I, I need to get out of here dude I got so much from that holy what a play dude I think we made it. I think we made it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Nothing in the backpack though, but still. That guy was definitely raiding. This wipe was getting out of control. I was probably the richest solo in my area, considering how short of amount of time I've been playing. But this would also make me a target in the chat. People had now been starting to call me out in the chat. They were looking for my base. Yo, I don't know, dude, what's going on with this wipe. I think this is my best wipe ever. Like, it's crazy what I'm doing. Like, do you see all the loot that I got? Isn't this crazy? Um, <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yay, we made it. We made it. Uh, not sure how much I can raid, though. I'm, I'm having a barbecue today. Um, but uh, for next wipe, we do have those BPs, because these BPs don't wipe. Just a random fight appeared outside my base. I think that's my neighbor's loot though. Scooping up, boys. We're scooping up. Woo! The guy I just stole all the loot from with the backpack in his entrance, he had expanded pretty much, but he was missing a lot of windows on his base, so I decided to check it out. I also checked battle metrics, and he was logged out apparently. <laughs> Bro has 300 hours and all this loot. There's no way. Like, the base and all that doesn't make sense dude he's the king as well i don't think he knows how to build even no way dude 
I think he got banned. I think he got banned. There's no way that happens. Like, this is what we're dealing with in Rust, bro. Told you guys. Something weird with that guy. All of a sudden he's sleeping in his airlock. As I returned to my base, I realized the new group that I raided yesterday had rebuilt in the exact same location. 8-bit and madness. There were total three or four players in this space. And I wanted to investigate that. These guys just left with a heli, my neighbors. Bro, I might just let her up there now. Yeah, I might just sit there, wait for them to come back. Bro, his friend is coming back. No way, dude. I don't think it died. Missing one. No, I don't miss one AK. Bro. I didn't mess it up. I did not mess that, mess that up. I got everything. Except the heli. I don't need that though. Just get me back into the base. And let me get my loot back that I deserve. I got it. There's no way I did this. Oh. There's no way. This guy that I just killed was just a solo guy from the start. But he would later join forces with my neighbors Madness, 8-Bit, and another guy I don't know the name of yet.
That's my neighbor. What the fuck was he raiding though? Okay, I'm dead. Okay, I'm going okay. I was just stopping these guys from progressing at all. We had a constant battle in between our bases, but most of the time I was the successor leaving with loot all the time. They were not happy with me living close to them. They were trying everything to get their kids back. I even caught them running to my base trying to door camp me, but I of course stopped them in right time. Trying to door camp me. Little bitch. Bro, you are so bad. You're naked now. <laughs> you lost so fing much, bro. I feel bad for you. Bro, they're so bad. <laughs> oh, what is going on, dude? They just lost... They're, they're losing so much to me, bro. It's crazy. I don't think I've ever experienced something like this. Like... <laughs> this is the same guy... This is the same guy that I had offline too. He rebuilt with three boyfriends. It's kind of funny. They're all dog shit as well. <laughs> like, no offense, but I haven't seen someone this bad in a long time. Oh, they're, they're AK outside my base. I don't know, it's pretty long. Oh shit, I think I'm getting raided. Yeah, they're making a raid base now. This is the end for me, bros. It's been a good journey though. Oh, it's them. They're merge raiding me. Bro, how deep are you? Bro, they merge raided me. <laughs> this is like everyone I've been killing, dude. Bro, they're just rage uh, raiding me. Like, there's so many of them. Everyone on the server that I've been killing. They're not in the team either. They, they spoke Russian outside my base and they said they were gonna raid me. Can't really do it.
Do I have anything? Bro, I might just... Like, if I open this single door, I'm gonna die anyway. Might just... Oh, one of them died. If I open, they're gonna rock with me. It's a GG, I think. Sealed. No way, dude. Haha. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No, you raided me, but you failed. Oh my god. No, who's laughing now? I have to demolish this. They might, they might have enough snow to boo me. <laughs> I think I don't think they have enough. I can't believe you're still whistling, bro. You're making so much cringe out of yourself, dude. Pick up that workbench. I mean, he's kind of keeping them in place, though, for being stuck. Yeah, they're just pushing out again. So bad. Like, there's no way. Like, I, this is not a loss, bro. I can't do anything. I've, I've defended already. I spawned back into the base and placed a battery. They clearly didn't have enough boom. But I wanted to make sure I didn't give them any loot at all. So I started to despawn my loot that I had left. I usually don't do this if it's an online raid because I respect it, but considering I defended four times out of four times possible and was being merge raided, I wasn't gonna give them anything at all. They clearly didn't deserve this. They had their chance, but they failed. That's just my take of the story. And let's just be honest, defending a raid like I did in this base is not easy. They were also rocket PvPing all the time, so it wasn't really a fair chance. I wasn't gonna give them anything at all. The raiders finally left my base and quit the server, and I was ready to hand out loot to people who actually deserved it. There was another group who built a massive raid base outside my door that was planning to raid me once again. But I was just being honest with these guys and didn't want them to waste boom. So I gave him the stuff that was left in the base and nothing had almost despawned. Are you serious? I, 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 I despawned because I was in here all the time, you know? I killed them many times. There's no point of raiding, bro. Yeah, don't raid this, bro. Like, I can open the door, bro. Like, you can have some stuff. Don't waste your boom on this base. There's nothing, dude. 
There's some stuff here, you know? Oh my god. Maybe, maybe you don't uh, leave to the server. Yeah, yeah, I leave. Why not? You're nice, man. Maybe we are uh, say to you channel bye-bye. Goodbye, bros. Have a nice wipe, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. <laughs>